Disappointed King Charles is set to scale back his tour of Australia and cancel trip to New Zealand altogether. On doctor's orders as he continues his cancer recovery. King Charles is set to scale back his tour of Australia and cancel his trip to New Zealand altogether over health concerns as he continues his cancer recovery. He had planned to tour Australia and Samoa with Queen Camilla. Before continuing on the New Zealand, however, concerns have been raised that the monarch is doing too much. In January the 76-year-old was admitted to hospital to undergo routine treatment for an enlarged prostate. However, doctors soon discovered an unspecified form of cancer after tests in February, he has been undergoing chemotherapy since then. A source told the Mirror, naturally, it will be a bitter disappointment on both sides to not have the opportunity for the King and Queen to visit New Zealand. But of course all are aware of the king's ongoing health and the need for him to pace himself. It's very much hoped there will be further opportunities in the future. The Mirror reported that the Australia leg of the tour will be scaled back to around six days. With a break lasting up to two days before the king and queen travel to Samoa for three days. While the trip around New Zealand is likely to be axed altogether. The visit by the King and Queen would be the first trip to Australia by a reigning monarch since 2011. The last such visit was when Queen Elizabeth II travelled to Canberra, Brisbane, Melbourne and Perth for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. King Charles has already made 15 visits to Australia, his last being in 2018 to open the Commonwealth Games. On the Gold Coast and to visit parts of Queensland and the Northern Territory. The King has previously travelled to every state and territory, and it's expected all jurisdictions will make requests for the monarch to visit them. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said plans were already underway on possible logistics for the visit. The King has shown his compassion for Australians affected by recent natural disasters. Just as Australians have shown compassion and support for the King following his cancer diagnosis, he said. The King, Queen and members of the royal family are always welcome in Australia. Deputy Prime Minister Richard Marle said the King had a long connection with Australia, extending from his time attending Geelong Grammar. There is an affection for King Charles, I know King Charles has a deep affection for Australia, he told ABC TV on Monday. A royal visit by King Charles and Queen Camilla later in the year would be a really, really tremendous and popular event. And I do think that Australians would very much welcome seeing King Charles in our country. Sources in the country say state and territory leaders have been asked to deliver bids to host the royals aligned with two main themes. Charles's first visit to Australia as king and his deep interest in climate and sustainability.